Hey brothers and sisters, today is August 29th, 2023. I just felt strongly led in the spirit to share some scriptures with you guys and the gospel. I've been seeing unbelievable comments, uh, uh, not only on my channel, but on a lot of other channels with people relying on their own works to be saved that are obviously still under the law and don't understand what Jesus paid for in full on the cross for them. So here's the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Second Corinthians 11.3 But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Just like the serpent said to Eve, did God really say that you shouldn't take from the fruit of this tree? Just like he's saying now, did God really say that you're saved if you just believe in what Jesus did? There's nothing new under the sun. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Galatians 3, 24 through 26. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster, for ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Romans 5, 18 through 21. Therefore, as by the offense of one, judgment came upon all men to condemnation. Even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one, shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Colossians 2.14 Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which were contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. It is finished. Paid in full. 2 Corinthians 5.21 for he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 
His righteousness was imputed to us once we believe in what he did for us. He died in our place for the glory of love. Ephesians 1.13 In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that, ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. And one of my favorite scriptures ever is Jude 1.24-25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. He is the one who keeps us. We don't keep ourselves. He keeps us. Proverbs 16, 25. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but, but the end thereof are the ways of death. And that's the law. Relying on your own works to be saved. These are the people Jesus is speaking to when they're saying, Lord, Lord, didn't I do this in your name? Didn't I do that in your name? And he says to them, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I do not know you. And they will be judged according to the law. Because they never believed in what Jesus did in their place. First John 2.2 2. And he is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours only but also for the sins of the whole world. First John 5.12-13 He that hath the Son hath life and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. First Corinthians. For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not get God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. And the weakness of God is stronger than men. For you see your calling, brethren, 
how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And base things of the world and things which are despised hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not, to bring to naught things that are. That no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom, and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption. That according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Seek the Lord while he may still be found. Draw near to him and he will draw near to you. Love you guys. Hold fast.